to KwaZulu Natal, where new research at Tlabisa in the north of the province, uh, in an area globally known for its high prevalence of HIV and AIDS, aims to provide answers on how HIV and tuberculosis interact with non communicable diseases to cause mortality. The two year Vuguzazi project, which means uh, wake up and know yourself, is expected to produce a disease profile of the community which will guide future health care plans. This community has been surveyed by researchers for 20 years. Between 3 and 4 out of 10 people here are living with HIV. HIV deaths in the area have decreased because of access to treatment. But the infection rate remains alarmingly high, especially among young women. Key to the study by the African Health Research Institute is a mobile health screening phase set up in communities. There is still a reluctance to visit clinics. Whilst we've got a large amount of HIV, we also know that TB is the largest cause, biggest cause of death in the population, often 70% of it associated with HIV. But at the same time, those individuals who are HIV infected who are receiving antiretroviral treatment and living longer and longer are increasingly getting hypertension, diabetes and other diseases. And we do feel that as a philosophy, that maybe one way to destigmatize HIV is actually to incorporate a whole range of health and disease parameters and in so doing get people into care, make them more understandable, uh, understanding of disease and in so doing also help their HIV disease. Comprehensive health screenings are done to test the interactions between, among others, HIV, TB, diabetes, hypertension and cancer. Researchers will, for the first time, measure all the elements of HIV, including CD4 counts, the viral loads and the health status of HIV. And will analyze the circulating strains of tuberculosis like they've never done before, the state-of-the-art equipment linked to Durban laboratories in real time. 22-year-old Sian Zuza says he wants to know about the status of his health. He says many men are still affected by the stigma of disease. Most of them are scared and others take the sickness very lightly. For others, it's very embarrassing to go to the clinic and get tested. They are afraid that they will be told that they are sick. They know they have been irresponsible. The study will determine health priorities of the future. We can use that information to understand how today's health predicts tomorrow's outcomes. What diseases do people develop? Are HIV and TB going to continue to be the major causes of death? We suspect not. They're actually decreasing quickly as HIV treatment becomes available here. People are accessing care. TB rates are dropping. TB mortality is dropping. There's still major health problems, but the real question is going to be what's the next generation of health and how can we, as a research institute, help advise the Department of Health what they need in this area? The study has a genetic element which may give answers to what determines who is or isn't protected from disease. Renee Heine, SABC News, Somkele. Former President.